ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, what we'll just do as a special video on the channel. If uh, you've been following along, uh, the Youth Edition is finished. Uh, I am currently away on holiday and I thought, you know what, what kind of content can I put out here uh, before I leave uh, just to, you know, give you something to watch, maybe something that you're interested in. Now, I am traveling around Europe, uh, a few countries along the way, and I thought, well, let's do a couple of rebuilds. Um, nothing crazy but uh, a few rules in place for these just to make them a little bit interesting but the first stop on my european tour uh, i am actually going to warsaw so today i've decided to pick one of those teams which is legia warsaw uh, and we're going to see what we can do with them in one season now i've given them a bit of cash uh, i've thrown them into the champions league ring and uh, we'll see if uh, we can rebuild this team enough in a season to hopefully win the league title and possibly uh, do something in the champions league so let's have a quick look around before before we jump into this rebuild right so the first rule i'm going to put in place for any of these rebuilds that are that we do do that we do do okay uh is that we cannot change the formation so we need to rebuild in whatever uh is is floating about now if we do make a champions league final we will get some gameplay into this one i will play the final if we make it if not which uh i think is going to be pretty tricky with this current team uh, then there will just be a rebuild and we'll see how good the squad can be. Uh, there is a, an aging squad here, but it is quite a large squad. Uh, and I think that they should do okay in the league. But uh, we do need to strengthen and see what we can do with this squad to help them be competitive, at least, uh, in a Champions League phase. Right, just to give you an idea of board objectives, uh, they want us to sign some defenders from the Youth Academy, five clean sheets at home and sign two South American players, uh, reach the quarterfinals of the Champions League. So there's high expectations here, but it's a low priority. Critically, though, uh, they want us to qualify for Europe, reach the quarterfinals of the Cup, well, we won't be doing two seasons and financially they want us to sign two crucial players plus make a profit of 35 million euro. Right, let's take a look at the Youth Academy. There'll always be one diamond floating about and we've got Bernard uh, Vavuzniak. Hopefully the pronunciation's there. A six foot five left midfielder. Six foot five running down the outside, sure. Welcome to the senior team. The rest looks a little bit average because we're not going to have time to develop them. So uh, I am going to release all of these. We do have one scout floating uh, just in Poland to see if we can bring back, you know, any of those top quality talents that might be able to help out the team. But my hopes are probably more in a transfer market, which uh, is something that we don't normally do in this channel. So uh, let's have a bit of fun. Right, so I did give him a uh, 100 million to play with. Uh, we're probably going to need most of it. I'm going to have to try and side quite a few free agents to try and bolster this squad. So we do have uh, the scouts out looking around. And uh, let's get moving along, see if we can offload some of the deadwood, increase our money, and maybe we can bring in a few marquee players. Right, first player out the door is Igor Karatin, uh, 780,000 euro into the budget. Right, Joel Abu Hana has been sold to Sparta Rotterdam for 750 grand. Right, we make our first signing. I thought the goalkeeper was something that we would need to uh, definitely address with three at the back. It's a very aggressive formation. Uh, so we've subbed out the 66 rated uh, keeper for this Mexican lad in Azevedo. 77, he's already up one. Right footed, not the tallest of lads. He's only six foot tall, but uh, hopefully that's a bit of an upgrade here. And maybe there's a bit of growth. He does have the leadership trait, so we could could give him the captain's armband as well if need be right Matthias Kuchelski has been sold to Salzburg for 500 grand right a couple more sales uh Koblak has been gone for 1.15 and uh Mitza has been sold for 1.4 I'm gonna murder names don't even worry about it right our second signing is another Mexican lad that seems to be what is uh, mainly available on the free agency is uh Chavez uh 79 rated high high work rates uh, looks a pretty solid option and uh, hopefully he can have an impact here at Legia Warsaw. Right, it is another Mexican signing. It is Martin, uh, 79 rated striker from the free agent list as well. 5 foot 10, he's 29 years of age, but uh, yeah, we need to bring some players into this squad that can help us survive uh, at least the group stages of the Champions League. So, uh, you know, that's three big signings thus far, plus the Youth Academy player, and we're flipping this squad over pretty quickly. Uh, defensively, though, I think we're going to have to find something, and there's not really any free agents floating around there. Wouldn't mind upgrading this centre midfield position as well, and then also trying to build out a little bit of squad depth, if possible. 
Right, we've made a big play here. I know he's old, but 37-year-old Thiago Silva from Chelsea. 86 rated. That is going to drop a little bit. But, I mean, the caliber of player to come in here and help out Legia Warsaw, uh, the big Brazilian, should hopefully, uh, you know, keep us a little bit more stable at the back. If we can get some support for him uh, and maybe some midfield and wing action... That starts giving us a bit of depth as well. So uh, not a bad signing, 17 million euro, but uh, we've still got some money to play with. Well, that's not a bad signing as well. 8 million for Sergio Ramos from PSG. I know he's 36. It's, it's a one season challenge. We're going to throw everything we have at this team to see how far they can go. Strengthening the back line that is uh, looking very short. Um, I think is, is best course. Uh, we'll see if we can maybe get another... Another centre back in here with about 60 odd million left to play with and then we can look at maybe bolstering up the midfield a little bit more. But, you know, we're looking okay. We just need to uh, find a way to, to be competitive. Right, I had to bring some Polish blood in. So from Southampton, it's uh, Jan Bednarek. Uh, 75 rated, but, uh, you know, you should be able to do a job for us. Six foot two. We wanted some more Polish blood in this team. We don't want to be a, a full team of imports. But, uh, yeah, okay, 75. That's a bit of an upgrade. And uh, the squad is building. Right, Jürgen's been sold for 750 grand. Right, we've got another free agent signing here. A name I definitely cannot pronounce there. Uh, uh, I don't even know what all those little hieroglyphics mean, but uh, yeah, 73 rated should help us out. High, high work rates from Romania and our bench is starting to get a little bit of depth to it as well. Right, let's bring in some more Polish talent. This time from Roma, we bring Zalewski across for 14.5 million, 75 rated right midfielder, 20 years of age. And, uh, yeah, this team is starting to come together. Maybe we do need a new striker now. 32 years old is Carlitos. Uh, we've got Peckhart waiting in the wings, but he's 33 at 6 foot 4. Maybe we do need a striking option, but the squad, well, it's had a bit of an overhaul, hasn't it? Right, Yuri Ribeiro has been sold to Levante for 1.7. Jakub Kisil has been sold to Odds BK for 700 grand. All right, I mean, things are getting a bit crazy here at League of Warsaw, but we've managed to uh, pick up a Barmyank from Chelsea, 23 million euro, uh, and that definitely helps out our firepower. So, I mean, this first team's looking reasonable. Uh, we've got a bit of depth here in the 70s now, so uh, hopefully we can uh, get moving forward now, see how this pans out, and uh, hopefully we can press through the group stage of the Champions League. Right, Matthias Johansson has been sold. A right wing back from Sweden, I believe. 900 grand. Doesn't fit in this squad anyway, so let's cash in. Right, one of the young lads, uh, Capella, has been sold. 440 grand. Right, transfer deadline day. Uh, Roslek gets sold for 1.8 million. Right, so a fair bit of action there in the transfer window. Um, we brought in Acevedo on a free. Uh, we did some big business bringing Chavez in and Martin in on a free. Uh, Benderet comes in for just over 5 million. Uh, Ramos for 8 million. Silver for 17.1. Uh, we bring in the Romanian lad on a free Zalimski uh, 14.6 and a Barmyang for 23 and a half million euro not bad business there I mean we spend a lot of cash but hopefully that means that this team can be competitive in Europe let's get simulating forward after we check our Champions League group stage Right, we are in Group A with Ajax, Liverpool and Rangers. Hopefully we're competitive. If we can get out of the group stage, uh, I think that would be an immense effort. We have put a lot of money into this team for this uh, particular group. It's going to take a lot more work if you want them to be the top of Europe. But stranger things have happened. We've got some, uh, some marquee players in there that have played a lot of uh, European football. And hopefully they can help Legia Warsaw move in past the group stages. Right, our first Champions League group stage game is against Rangers. We will be quick simming these, of course. A uh, little bit tired, but hopefully we can get a result here against Rangers. And we do. We do get a 2-0 victory. Uh, Sergio Ramos missed a penalty. Definitely a tougher ask here at Anfield against Liverpool, but we'll see what the boys are ready for. And unfortunately, it's a 2-0 loss on the road. Liverpool controlled the game. Right, next group stage, and we have Ajax at home in the snow. Can we get a result? We can. It's a 2-1 win. 52% uh, possession. Looked like a tight fixture. Tango Silva chipping in with a goal there. Round four of the Champions League. We're on the road this time in the Netherlands. Can we get a fixture result? 
No, we go down 2-1 on the road. Right, this is probably a big one. Match five. Uh, we're at Rangers. We're on the road. If we don't secure a victory here, we could possibly be knocked out. And all this has been for nothing. But uh, let's get the simulation done. And we do get a result. It's a 2-1 win. 61% possession. Final game of the group stage. Legia Vorsal hosting Liverpool. And we managed to pick up a 1-1 draw here at home. That could be huge. We will check in on the group stage table to see if we progress through to the knockout rounds. Right, with that draw, we do secure uh, to go through to the group stages. So that's good. It means our money has been well spent. Finishing second in Group A. Group B, Atletico Madrid, Bayer Leverkusen pushed through. Group C as Bayern Munich and Barcelona. Group D, uh, Marseille and Sporting. Let's have a look at Group E. It's AC Milan and Chelsea. Group F, Real Madrid, Red Bull, or oh, RB Leipzig, should I say. Uh, group G, Sevilla finish on top above Man City. Dortmund knocked out. And Group H has Juventus and PSG going through. Right, unfortunately, we've lost to Levski basically for the rest of the season with a broken tibia. Six months gone. We're going to have to find a replacement in this January window. Right, we spend up big, uh, just over 20 million for Bernderashi from Toronto. Uh, he's an Italian six foot one right midfielder, 79 rated, so uh, definitely uh, increases our chances. Some of these older players have dropped off a little bit. That was to be expected, but Chavez is up to an 81, Martin 79. Uh, the young lad from the youth academy, Vazvaniak. However you say his name, he's up to a 74, so that definitely helps us out. Hopefully, we can do something here in the group stage. That's most of our money. A big loss there uh, in losing Zalemski. But, uh, well, that's what happens. You do get injuries. Right, Strzelak is out the door for 420 grand, trying to get a little bit of money together if possible. All right, uh, Tobias has gone to Coventry City for 2.8 million. Right, transfer deadline day here in January. It's a massive sighting. Uh, Hugo Lloris from Tottenham. I picked him up for 1.3 million. He is an aging player, of course, but 85 rated. Acevedo, you've done well for the first half of the season and got us through uh, that Champions League group stage. But uh, can you deny yourself a 1.3 million euro signing of Hugo Lloris? That really strengthens us even more at the back and uh, a really good deadline day signing, in my opinion. Right, with transfer deadline day done, we are on the 1st of February. We currently sit third in the league, three points back. Uh, but of course, we are alive in the Champions League. And that is where we've drawn Real Madrid in the round of 16. So it could all be over very, very soon. Maybe those couple of pickups that we got there, Hugo Lloris, could have an impact. We'll have to wait and see. Let's get forward to that round of 16 match. Right, first leg, uh, Champions League, round of 16. It's a tough ask. We are a little bit tired, and we are taking on Real Madrid. This could get ugly, but who knows? We are at home in the snow. Oh, we swing a 2-2 draw. Well, that's a decent effort, to be fair. Well, it is a 2-2 aggregate score. We've done all the hard work to get here, but this could be the end of the run. Unless something can drastically change we need to find a way forward defensively who knows what's going to happen here today but it could be the end of the line fingers crossed we get through though let's have a crack oh that is destroyed 4-1 Real Madrid knock us out in the round of 16 so all we've got to play for now is the league title Right, so we're heading into the final game of the season. Uh, we have a one-point lead on Lesh Poznan at the moment. Uh, we will be taking on 14th place, uh, Visla uh, Pock. I don't know, but uh, yeah, can we get the job done? We will play this game and give you some highlights, and hopefully we can get it done. Right, it is an away fixture. Sergio Ramos decided to get himself red carded. Uh, so we're a little bit light here at the back. Silva's down to an 83. Larissa's has dropped to an 83. Aubameyang an 80. But uh, yeah, let's hope that we can put in a, a shift here. It's going to be uh, interesting to say the least with this formation. Um, if you watch the youth edition this year, you'll know that I usually play with five at the back because defending is uh, quite insane but uh, i think we've got a squad that can do a real job here let's see if we can lift a trophy with the legia warsaw all right ladies and gentlemen some polish football for you legia warsaw looking to take a title we spent a lot of money on aging players to try and do something in the champions league i mean uh, i guess getting to the round of 16 with this squad was a pretty decent effort 100 million pretty much spent but uh, it wasn't enough. Maybe we can give them a link title and just get a little bit of redemption out of this one. Come on, boys. Here is Aubameyang. 
We come at him. He takes it on. Barmiank pushes in, tries to get across. Oh, good save. Yes, get in there, Henry. 1-0, Legia Warsaw. One hand on the trophy. Get in, lad. It's the Mexican, Henry Martin, getting the finish. And we're one step closer to lifting this Polish League Cup trophy. Get in. 1-0. Oh, no, they got one back just before half-time. Oh, dear. An ageing back line. You'd feel that we solid here in the Polish League, but sixes and sevens all over the show. Couldn't get close enough. Maybe a little bit slow these days. The race beaten, and it's 1-1. And has the title just gone begging? Benderashi. Abamiak, Henry Martin, bang, straight back in front. Oh, he's leading from the front. Abami who? Henry Martin, scoring for fun. Makes it 2-1 on the day. The lead is restored. And that hand gets back on the trophy. Just one finger at the moment. And hopefully the boys can get enough done. Henry Martin, you go lad. Good from Silva. Abamiang can drive his way forward here. Yeah, Abamiang. Oh my days. 2 1 at half time. There's Abamiang. He has an opening again. Selfishly works his way inside. He's got one. Abamiang makes it 3 1. And surely that's two hands on the title. Good finish from Aubameyang. And Legev also have the lead 3-1. A little bit of hype emotion. Aubameyang still showing a little bit of speed. And it's a good finish in the end to make it 3-1. Aubameyang plays it forward. Here's Martin looking for a hat-trick. Oh, he's done it! Get in, lad! 4-1 Legia Warsaw! And the team that is top of the table is turning it on as we just about in party mode. Martin, what a signing! Free agent has just come in and run rings through the Polish league. We'll have to check on the statistics at the end of this one to see how many goals he scored this season. He, he, he feels good. You're looking for a cheap signing. Maybe Henry Martin is your man. Race out quickly. Chavez. Like he's got some speed. Finds Yosu. We can come forward here. Yosu lays it off. Martin! Oh, he's got four. Henry Martin. What a signing. 5 1. Legia of Warsaw. Well, we've shown up here in the second half, that's for sure. And Henry Martin is on fire. He's got four. He wants himself a trophy. And it's all but done and dusted. Get in, lad. <laughs> Hugo Lloris. He's taken a sidestep from the opposite direction. 5-2, a late consolation goal. It pretty much means nothing. But look at Hugo Lloris here. He just... <laughs> I want to stand over here. Have a go, lad. Have a bloody go. 5-2. And there we go. Thank you, Warsaw. We'll take the league title, so at least we've got them through something. Round of 16 in the Champions League. And a league title. And Martin, what a signing. Four goals. It's 5-2. The Legia of Warsaw. We will get to see a trophy lift. Do some statistics, wrap this video up. See where we head from here. Well done, lads. Oh, I was a little bit cautious, uh, a little bit anxious, if anything, about this three at the back formation, but it sort of uh, played itself out quite nicely. Well, uh, you'd say we've had some more high caliber players and maybe it was to be expected, but. You can never be too careful. 
But uh, we've got ourselves a Polish title. Can't even think of the last time we did a, uh, a fever experience here in Poland. Maybe it was on one of the journeymans. I think it was, was it Termalicia? Maybe we did do Legia of Warsaw in the past. Oh, I just cannot remember. It's been a while, that's for sure. So I'm currently enjoying Poland in Warsaw while you're uh, watching this video, if you watch it on the day that it's come out. So if you are in Poland, Czech, Dzień Dobry, Jak Szymasz. It's about the extent of my Polish. Legia of Warsaw, title champions. Let's see what else we can do. In regards to rebuilding a few more sides. Where am I off to next? Maybe that's the next question. But we have also trophy lift done and dusted. Yeah, we come out swinging. 21 shots to eight. Uh, nine saves from their goalkeeper. Right, we will take a quick look at the squad and see what happened with the players, of course. Uh, being a one-season challenge and 100 million euro to play with, we, we went after uh, older players with a team that, you know, probably needed um, a very big overhaul to compete in Europe. But Hugo Lloris dropped two. And that was only in, in half a season. Acevedo didn't grow at all. Ramos dropped five. Uh, what else did we sign? Benderak, he went up one, so that's that's probably a good signing. Uh, Thiago Silva down four. Um, the Scout Future Star went up four to a 76. What else did we sign? Chavez up two to an 81. Um, the Romanian lad up one to a 74. And Benderashi didn't grow from a 79. Zalimski, he did get to a 76, but did get injured. Uh, Aubameyang went down three to a 79. Martin, I mean, this, this is the lad that you want to be uh, signing if you've got some, some free cash to play with. 43 appearances, 21 goals, three assists, and up one to an 80. So you can sign him for a season or two, cash in. Uh, what's his value at now? 20 million, you know, you've signed him on a free. Uh, that's probably a good way to make some cash in a career mode. And that's about all that we did here. All right, so standings wise, we do win the league by a point. So luckily we did get that win there. We didn't do anything in the Polish Cup. I think we were knocked out um, quite early. Uh, was it the round of 16? Yeah, we got locked out there by Lubin. All right, Champions League. I mean, we got through to the round of 16, which I thought was a pretty decent effort for the squad that we had. And then coming up against, against Real Madrid, it was always going to be a tough ask. Um, Quarterfinals... Real Madrid knockout by Munich. They get to the semis. They beat RB Leipzig. And they lost in the final to Man City 2-1. Europa League run by Inter 3-1. And the Conference League won by Nice over Dynamo Kiev. Right, so that's where we finished that little bit of a rebuild. Just something a little bit different. I just wanted to put some content out on the channel while I am away. So hopefully that was a, a little bit of viewing. So a little bit of insight on some of the players that you can try and uh, pick up. Uh, I'll think of some other ideas in regards to rebuilds to set myself some challenges and hopefully have a couple more videos for you through May. I'm basically away for all of May. Uh, not sure what we're going to start up in regards to a full uh, series when I get back. That will kick off in June, but I will let you know in the uh, the community tab or you can follow me on Twitter at SparringDK. But thanks very much for tuning in today. We'll see you in another video very, very soon. I'm SparringDK. It's five o'clock somewhere and you have a good one. The Sparring DK channel now has Patreon, and if you feel like just going that little extra step to help, uh, you know, the channel grow, you can go across to the website, pledge your allegiance to myself, and uh, for $1 a month, you're basically putting it in a jar and allowing for us to go and buy some more beers and record some more beer drinking episodes. Thank you very much to the current lads that have gone ahead and supported the channel. Absolutely tremendous to see anybody willing just to give that $1 a month at this stage. I cannot thank you from the bottom of my heart. You, you really will make a difference in the future. So jump across there if you're that way inclined to the Patreon channel, sign up today, and we'll see if we can get some extra beer drinking episodes for you at home. Now, if you are looking for some more content, we've got a couple of videos, one here, one here, and if you want to subscribe, there's a button right there. So go ahead, subscribe, and you'll be notified when the videos...